Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update a website you manually deployed on Netlify. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the current live website which we have. So it's on this second tab here so let me navigate to this tab and I'll just refresh the page. And there we go, the website name, webspiding.com, currently looks like this. And now what we're going to be updating is this logo here. As you can see it's a red and white logo. I'm just going to minimize this and show you the offline files which I'll be uploading to Netlify to make changes to the live website. So I'm just going to open this folder here and I'm going to click on the index.html file to show you how the offline website looks. And as you can see the logo is the same however the color is different and we have a white and gray color here. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to netlify.com and then hit the login button. So I'm just going to left click here on login and it should log me in. I already have logged in previously, so it has my login set and saved. Now, once you're logged into Netlify, you'll be able to see all your deployed websites. The one that we're going to choose is websplaining.com and it's the manually deployed one. So let's left click on it and now you'll be brought to the overview page of the website you selected. The next thing you want to do is navigate to where it says deploys, which is the second one from the top left. Left click on this one. And if we just scroll down a bit, you should see here a little box here that says need to update your site, drag and drop your site folder here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to simply restore down here this web page. And now all you want to do is locate your website's files. And as you can see, my website's files are on my desktop here in this folder. And all we're going to do is left click on this folder and we're going to drag it into this little text box here and let go. And as you can see, it says uploading and it says it has been published. So what we're going to do now is navigate to the second tab here where we have the old version of the website here and if we hit the refresh button we should see the newly updated website with the new grey and white logo. So let's hit the refresh button here and as you can see it loads perfectly the new grey and white logo and if we compare it to the offline websites files you can see that it's exactly the same. Alright guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give this video a like comment down below and subscribe and I would really appreciate it. See you on the next one.